At the epicenter of the Roman Empire and the birthplace of the Renaissance, the European nation of Italy celebrated 157 years of its unification yesterday. It also marks 70 years of Indo-Italy bilateral relations. To foster ties further, a series of cultural exchange programs including exhibitions and music are taking place this month. The Consul General of Italy, Stefania Costanza, hosted a special evening in the financial capital Mumbai, inviting investors, students, travelers to explore Italy. I feel thrilled, <laughs> first of all. I think we, 70 years, it's a quite a long time. It's almost all the time that Italy have been a republic. So the, the Italy that we know today. So that means that Italy and India went end in end together for basically all their history, recent history. And I think now we are in a more mature uh, relationship. We do partner in many different sectors. There are the excellence, both of Italy and India. Appreciative of uh, Indian cinema and culture, the Italian government felicitated Indian television and film personality Kabir Bedi with the Volare Award. The Voler Award is uh, presented for excellence in cinema by the Italian government. It's a way to also promote friendship between India and Italy. In the past, uh, the Indian film personalities like Deepika Padukone, Imtiaz Ali and A.R. Rahman have been recipients of this award. I just feel there's so much that India and Italy can do together, not just in cinema, but in any number of areas. Like they have, they make great shoes, we produce the best leather. They have great designers, we have great fabrics. Uh, we also have great designers, by the way. I think we have a lot to learn from each other. Both people are warm, hospitable, love good food, uh, have a sense of family, have a sense of religion. We talk with our hands, you know, there's so much in common. And I would like to see this relationship grow. <laughs>